Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the IGV web app. So this is the integrated genome viewer that is going to allow us to visualize the data that's in BAM files. Once you've completed an alignment on Galaxy, you can download the reference genome, the BAM file, the BAM index file. And if you have those on your computer or in a cloud storage tool like Dropbox, you can get a URL and you can load them into a viewer. You can't open the file easily on your computer, but these viewers allow you to see where reads align to the genome. So you can see the depth of sequencing. And when you zoom into a particular base, you can see if there's variation at that base. So you can see how many reads were called for C, how many reads were called for T, how many for G, how many for A, and you can compare that to the letter in the reference genome. So let's get started with what you need to do for homework one underscore five, intro to IGV. In this homework, we're gonna look at an RNA-seq experiment. So this is sequencing messenger RNA. And we're gonna look at a tame and an aggressive rat and see the difference in gene expression in one gene that's related to behavior. You're gonna start by opening up the app and loading a reference genome that's already in IGV. So just like Galaxy has built-in reference genomes, IGV has many built-in genomes. It has the most common research organisms, as well as several builds of the human genome. So if I scroll down, you can see all the, the different um, genomes that are here. And the one that we want is the rat genome, because the data set we're going to look at came from an aggressive and a tame rat who's mRNA was isolated from their brains. Once we have the rat genome loaded, we now can load the tracks. So I'm going to highlight the aggressive track and go to IGV and choose tracks URL, paste the BAM file URL, as well as the BAM index file. URL. You want to make sure that you're putting each one in the right place. So just double check the file extensions. Track should be BAM and index should be BAI. Click OK. And now I have a new track called aggressive.bam. I won't be able to see the data until I zoom in. I'm going to wait to do that until I have the second track loaded. So I'm going to load from URL, go back to the assignment, and get the tame BAM file. and the TAME index file. Now I can use my mouse to click on a chromosome and then choose a region of a chromosome to zoom in. I have to get to about a thousand base pairs before, or I guess this is 5,000 base pairs before I'm able to see alignments before I'm able to see regions of the genome. There will be spots in this data set that don't correspond to exons, and you won't see any data in those spots. Because this is a project that we used to do in bioinformatics, um, I knew where there was a lot of alignment. So I gave you guys a location to look up on chromosome 12. And you can switch chromosomes in a couple different ways. Um, probably the easiest is the pull down menu. So I switch to chromosome 12, and you can see it zooms to the whole chromosome. And I can use the zoom tools, or more easily, I can type in the location. So chromosome 12, I want to go to 13,218,573. And eventually, I'm going to want to get to even this narrower location. So I think I'm just going to start with that. And one thing you'll see as this data loads is that it gives you two pieces of information. It tells you the depth of the sequencing as well as the variation in the sequencing. So the depth of the sequencing is on this left-hand bar we can see that the maximum number of reads in this region was six for the aggressive data set. And the maximum number of reads in this region for the TAME data set was 21. 
that means that the tame rat was producing more of more copies of mRNA for this gene than the aggressive rat. In homework 1-6, your job is to also use IgV, but to do an additional step. If we have a genome, like our experiment from Genes and Genomes last semester, where the reference data isn't built into IgV, you're going to need to load a reference genome. So I can do that by highlighting the URL. And probably the easiest thing to do is to actually refresh the page and start over so you have a nice clean slate. Just like with the BAM file, I'm going to have a FASTA file that ends with the file extension .fna and a FASTA index file, which ends with the extension .fai. I wanna make sure they're in the right place. Click okay. And you can see that the reference genome changed. For this assignment, I just wanna make sure they're able to load our reference genome that we're using for the project. So you just need to take a screenshot of how big is this genome. So the name of the genome um, and the reference genome, and then you'll be all set. Let me know if you have any questions. Good luck with this week's homework.